Yeah, so on ASCVD, I've also become far more aggressive on the timing and magnitude of ApoB reduction. So now the question becomes, well, when should you start ApoB reduction and how much should you lower it? And I'll tell you, I used to take a point of view that if a 40-year-old had an elevated ApoB, let's just put some numbers to this, right? So the 20th percentile of ApoB is about 80 milligrams per deciliter. I used to say that, let's say somebody was at the 50th percentile, they're 40 years old, their calcium score is zero, and they were ambivalent about lipid lowering therapy. And let's assume that they're not insulin resistant and you've done all of the things that you can do reasonably with nutrition. I wouldn't push that hard. I've now taken a very different stand, which is I've basically taken the stand with others that I've taken with myself, which is the evidence is overwhelming that infantile levels of ApoB are not deleterious in any way. Meaning, an ApoB of 30 to 40 milligrams per deciliter, which is the level that children would have, poses not only no risk to children, as evidenced by the fact that, I mean, that doesn't require an explanation, but as evidenced by what we see in the literature on adults with levels that have been pharmacologically reduced, tells me that we need to be lower. And the amount of time it takes to see a benefit tells me we don't want to wait until there's an issue. In other words, if the reason we begin therapy is because somebody has a positive calcium score, which again, we covered this in great detail in, is that AMA come out yet? I was just going to say that AMA will be released two weeks after this. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So for people listening, we have a dedicated ASCVD AMA, which goes into heavy detail for about 90 minutes on all this stuff, where if this is of interest, hang on for a few weeks and we'll be diving even deeper into it. Yeah, I get a bit lost with the recording cycle, but that's a great AMA that goes super deep on basically all of the reasons why I think my point of view now is treat early and treat aggressively. And I will now also make a very bold statement. Again, it's let's start with the thought experiment, right? If the thought experiment for colon cancer was do a colonoscopy every day on a person's life starting at the age of 30 would you eliminate colon cancer deaths? I think the answer is yes. And similarly, I would say pharmacologically lower ApoB to somewhere in the 20 to 30 milligram per deciliter range for everybody in the population while someone is in their 20s. Can you eliminate ASCVD? And I think the answer is probably yes. In other words, I think what you're basically going to do is eliminate death from atherosclerotic causes. And that would need to be started in 20s? I think so, yeah. Very early on. Yeah. So again, how do you take that thought experiment and turn it into a practical implication? Basically, by the time you're in your late 30s or early 40s, if you have any measure of ApoB that's even north of the 20th percentile, that should be completely lowered. So in some ways, I would view an ApoB ceiling of 60 as the limit. And that's probably at about the fifth percentile you'd sort of want everybody to be below the fifth percentile. This podcast is for general informational purposes only. and does not constitute the practice of medicine, nursing, or other professional healthcare services, including the giving of medical advice. No doctor-patient relationship is formed. The use of this information and the materials linked to this podcast is at the user's own risk. The content on this podcast is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Users should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice from any medical condition they have, and they should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions. Finally, I take conflicts of interest very seriously. For all of my disclosures and the companies I invest in or advise, please visit Peter Atia, MD dot com forward slash about where I keep an up-to-date and active list of such companies. 